Hey, yo, family, what's good, man? This Kodak Black thing, it took another turn because now the update is that Kodak Black's the one who's been shot. Now, I've been on the clubhouse situation and I already seen when folks was, you know, discussing it, speaking about the in and outs of the situation with it. And now you're getting more inside information. They they done connected his Cardi B's manager, allegedly big, um, big Johnny got hit after speaking with Yak, but then you see the video of Yak, homie and partner, who got hit. Who got hit. Hold on, y'all almost crashed because a fucking idiot. Who got hit right after this, um, the situation. You know, Yak is gonna do what he gotta do to look out for his homie. And I, and I said that on Clubhouse, I think he got shot too, because based on when Yak went to go defend the home and he started swinging, you seen Buddy up there. But we didn't get a clear angle when it first came out. And then the second angle done hit, we getting more clarity on what happened. First of all, before I go deep on the update, a lot of people is like blaming hip hop and blaming a whole lot of things. Y'all might be right, but let's pause the hip hop side of it for a little bit. If you in a situation, whether you a nigga that's like that or not, and your friend, your family member is being attacked or whatever. You just gonna stand there and watch it. That's all I wanted to know for those people. And then, you know, folks be bothering people, bro. You can't even chill. Like, I don't even like being known on YouTube depending who you are. Like, I'm outside, bro. I just came from, I don't, I don't even wanna speak that on the internet. I don't do all that extra where I came from. But it's like, I be out here too, bro. And you gotta keep it on you, but it don't matter if you got it on you. If a nigga already got the drop or it's close range and he whip it out first, you can't do what you gotta do. So ain't no telling who was busting first. And then I see people on Clubhouse, they already done put the pictures of, I'ma say allegedly for purposes of Yat Homie with a pistol. And we don't know if that's Yat Homie or not. I'ma put it like that to not get nobody indicted. But it's a whole lot of detectives right now. And these folks gotta know somebody about to, like, I ain't gonna say get in trouble. I don't use these words. Somebody about to pay the consequences. You feel me? For uh, repercussions of reactions. For every reaction, there's consequences and repercussions. That's facts. Now, the Yak situation is going out of control now because four folks got shot. Allegedly, they said a 60 year old got popped and a 16 year old. I don't know how true that is. The restaurant that they were in. You feel me? It's a, a, a exclusive restaurant that all the big top ones go through. So it's like, you want to know why security wasn't prepped for them boys over there. It's like, when you're one of these artists, I know you got to have your own security and all that. I ain't going to argue with you on that part. But we do know you got to be on your P's and Q's. But at the same time, these venues and all these folks, you know all these rivalries going to be there. You know it's the Super Bowl weekend. I know we got to take accountabilities for ourselves, and I agree with that. But it almost feels like the gatekeepers want to see some F-ish happen. You see dudes doing offsets, falcon punch, buddy jumped off the car, caught dude lacking. And you feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't like being a known person too, bro. Because I know I'm going to have to do some dumb, some dumb shit, bro. Like, I, I feel it, bro. Our, I thought I got to leave that dumb life alone when you get older. But it's just like us, we got like a hate for each other, bro. Niggas going to try to do it. Like, the new money is clout, my nigga. Nigga gonna do what he gotta do to get some clout off your name, bro, regardless. Um, free that man double low and rest in peace, the big clout, my nigga FBG Duck, you feel me? I feel like at the end of the day, bro, niggas gonna do what they gotta do, bro, to eat. My nigga starts to rain, set the streets, gotta eat. And Duck and them done taught you the clout, you can make fun of clout all you want. Clout is the new money, bro. It's the new wave. You're going to be like, what chasing cloud? They don't pay you money, but they give you a name, nigga. And that name that it give you will bring in the money or whatever. Niggas want to do interviews. Your name start ringing, especially if you start a YouTube channel, you get that whole popping. You feel me? The whole world going to tune in, bro. Like maybe for the first couple of months, you're going to get hundreds of thousands of views. But even if the views drop, you still going to eat off that, bro. So it's like niggas going to get a name regardless, bro. So you, you got to watch for that whole, bro. The whole Yak situation now, you got to look at, he's not on papers. He cleared that whole South, shout out to everybody in South Carolina and North Carolina. Y'all know I rock with the Carolinas heavy, bro. And shout out to all my folks in Georgia, Broward County, Florida, West, the whole state of Florida, New York, Texas, Alabama, and the Silt, Mississippi for you folks who ain't connected. But it's like, you know, mostly down South, and shout out to the West Coast, but mostly down South, I'm used to seeing this ignorant, it, the ignorant part of it, you feel me? So it's like, 
And anything you done did is always going to come back to you. But when folks is following you with the F-ish all the way in California, it's so many things you could tie it to. And I don't want to get the, you feel me? Like, I ain't the police, dog. But, you know, Yak done said something about Nipsey Hussle. But a lot of niggas don't want to let shit like that go. But I wouldn't be the bloggers that tell you this is about Nipsey because that would be lazy journalism, bruh. Yak is a nigga that is in tune with many people. And even folks he's not in tune with it with. Uh, niggas can start in trouble for any reason But you gotta get this type of situation time, bro If you give it some time More things is gonna reveal itself Cause I seen a couple of folks on Clubhouse Was agreeing with me I think Yak got popped Now it turned out he did get popped You know, by the grace of God He's alive You know, he he's strong right now By the grace of the Most High You gotta give all the praise to the Most High, bro You feel me? And the Most High name Cause if you see This is close range, bro that round hit any major artery, you bleeding out, bro. Them folks can't even really save you, dog. So that's the only thing I was on. I was like, damn, bro, this nigga got all type of angels with this man right now. Cause, and then you want to know more who the other two people, I mean, the other person who got popped. Because if it's allegedly a 60-year-old and a 16-year-old, I'm not saying scratch them off, but I'm trying to find out who in this nigga's vicinity, his circle, his people, done got hit up so i hope it wasn't you know psycho bob i don't know if he went with yak all the way down there because i know there was a part for a little bit i don't know if it's paperwork or what but you hoping for the bet like any anybody involved in that whole first of all i don't wish prison and jail on nobody even even his ops or whatever or the people who was beefing with him in that incident i hope we can resolve this without nobody being treated like a dog and locked up because even if you my op it's something sinister about seeing a grown man locked up in shackles you feel me if a nigga drop one of your people i feel like the streets gotta eat but at the same time justice should be serving eye for an eye but all that putting people in shackles and chain and locking them up like dogs i don't know i feel iffy about that i feel like it's like when my mama used to see us with the bb guns and we used to you know hit educational purpose hit up the pigeons or whatever she'd be like if you ain't gonna eat it you wasting food i feel it's kind of like that with humans it's like damn it's like somebody on death row you feel me like if that man done whipped out somebody family that family should be able to you feel me get justice y'all know what type of way so with the whole yak situation bro it's just up and downs bro it's a lot of sick things behind it and then you don't want to get to going to conspiracies and shit i just feel like hip-hop is a recipe for disaster let me tell you what let's pretend kodak ops did go down there and let look i'm not saying if it was a situation set up or none of that but let's put everything in the mix so let's add this little conspiracy let's like with this hip-hop thing bro them folks be i feel like sometimes heating that thing up and instigating it to get to the point it get because every publication gonna get their views on right now including me including me I i'll be honest with you including me when these stories come about everybody eat dog let's get that part out the way every nigga gonna eat off of this bro so it's like this hip-hop thing is like it's popular as hell but it's like damn dog it's like the streets ain't really supposed to go like this bro you get a name and folks just do extra behind that name you got but you can't, I understand it too both ways because you can't complain about what come with this shit because you been new about it. You been new once you start, like, you're already a nigga that's going to be, especially if you a known nigga, you already got them folks out there, like, them, them goons and wolves looking at you, bro, when you got a name out there. But at the same time, it's going to be bigger people involved when you like a, a superstar type of dude. You feel me? Things that me and you might never understand until we get to that level in life but even if it ain't the level even if it ain't no conspiracies the streets are still shiesty my nigga you feel me i done seen too much niggas got like 30 arsenals of weapon on them bro and they don't mean nothing the whole car the whole whip get hit up bro i'm talking about everybody gone mama and them wearing black dresses on sunday on saturday at your funeral or if y'all do it on monday but everybody in black homies pouring out they got your face on the t-shirt niggas having a wake ceremony for you playing dominoes crying about you and, and you had all them weapons on you bro and the same thing could happen to me too so i ain't talking smack bro i'm just saying when you think about it it's like damn bro it's always gonna be like a lose lose situation type of shit you dig what i'm saying it's like, damn, dog. Like, you you can't win for trying and you can't lose for dying, bro. If it makes sense to y'all, you understand what I'm saying. Because some of y'all who ain't peeping game what I'm trying to bring out, like, that didn't even make sense because you'll never understand, gang. But 
I'm, I leave you with this, bro. I, I just say thank God that we didn't hear about nobody dying on both sides, whatever. Even the pedestrians, the, the innocent civilians in this and all that. The tourists, because you know, there's going to be some wave of the mayor going to get involved in this, the governor, maybe even the president, because this is Super Bowl weekend. You dig what I'm saying? Super Bowl is like an American religion, dog. Shit, it's going to be international news. Already it is. So it's like CNN might get involved, Fox News, ABC, MNSBC, NBC. It's going to be a whole lot of things, bro. So I hope, but I don't even have to say I hope. I know Yak got that legal team that got oh, everything you need to know. So salute to the gang. Salute to the guys. Blessings to everybody out here, bro. Man, keep your head on the swivel, bro. That's why I keep that legal and that 30 on me. But I really keep God with me because it don't matter what I got on me, bro. Like, nigga get the drop on you, that's it. Finito. Y'all have a blessed day, man. Love your family, love your kids, and most definitely staying blessed. Stay blessed, gang. One.